All right, we are taking a look at the Aroma rice cooker, guys. I'm sure you've seen this before. Uh, this product, guys, if you're trying to cook rice, it keeps it simple, but at the same time, it can be a little tricky. So let's talk about it, guys. I just cooked some jasmine rice here in it. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And if you look here, all of the different settings, you have a setting for white rice, brown rice, steam, keep warm, delay timer, and, and flash rice. Now, I just um cook the batch of rice like i said so it's gonna keep warm setting so we're gonna take this out and, and give it a little little fluff and see what it looks like um you also get this right here guys you get this vegetable steamer where you can put it at the top inside of it and, and steam vegetables on the top of it as well and i know they have the little spoon that comes with it also where is that spoon at give me one second so this is the little spoon. Uh, I believe this came with it. I'm not 100 percent sure, but I've had mine for some years now, but I believe the spoon also comes with it. Of course, with the instruction booklet as well. So guys, this can cook any type of rice um, and it definitely comes out nice and well. Now what I do, my rice, let me show you the rice here. Pop this open because we are done, right? So here we go. Nice jasmine rice here, guys. Stick the spoon in here. And this is nice and fluffy. It is not hard at all. So some good jasmine rice. But uh, you can cook any type of rice in it. I just really like uh, that type. Uh, so now I will say also, what's the trick to this? So the, the, to, I would say a downside would be knowing how to cook with it, right? That's one of the things I think that bogs a lot of people when they're using this rice cooker is the fact that um, the measurements. It gives you the book, but it gives you the measurements, but uh, I found from a, a guy on YouTube that's worked perfect for me and the way I use it, I take a regular measuring cup like this one here, right? And I use two cups of water and then I have, uh, I do two and a third cups. So two and a third cups of water. So uh, fill this up for two cups and then I take a third cup and fill that with water and then I will fill this up with two full cups of rice and that's the measurement I go. So if you wanted to make more, you simply would, you know, obviously if you had the bigger one, I think, you know, this one is it's almost pretty full. I haven't tried to use four cups in here yet, but the same thing would be, if I have a rule of thumb, if I'm doing three cups, right? Uh, if I want to do three cups of rice, I will use uh, three and one third cups of water then for three cups of rice. Four cups and one third cup of water for four cups of rice and so forth. Same thing, you know, just go with that measurement in my opinion and you will get uh, some good rice where you don't have to worry about it. Uh, as far as the timer, it cooks. Now, this is, I would also say, if you're looking for fast rice, you're not going to get it with this. This is why it's kind of like a set and forget it. It cooks for about 40 to 45 minutes, and it does give you a timer right here, but it only counts down for the last 10 minutes of the cooking session. So knowing that, you can put it in like I did. I'm, I'm making dinner. I got, I got to take my chicken out the oven, about to cook my broccoli and all of that good stuff. And uh, I set this, and now it, it's done. But it's so easy, and it tastes good, guys. So if you've been looking at the Aroma uh, rice cooker by any chance, uh, it has the, the vent here also for the steam to release. Uh, if you've been looking at it and been thinking about getting this product, guys, I hope this video gave you some value on it.